This winter, as heavy rains and snow swept across California, tens of thousands of acres of farmland in the San Joaquin Valley were lost to flooding, covering dairies, chicken farm, pistachio orchards, and farmhouses. But put another way, it was the first time in decades that Tulare Lake had reappeared. By June, the lake had reclaimed more than 113,000 acres, an area nearly as large as Lake Tahoe. Being able to experience this during our lifetime, it, for us, it's, it's, it's a type of a miracle. All we've experienced is just dry, and the first thought that comes to mind is, man, we need this. The lake was a life form. Our ancestors used to get everything from this lake. So now that it has reawakened, it's reawakened our spirits. We understand the destruction that is causing uh, amongst some communities in some areas. Some farmers are losing, uh, losing their crop. You know what I mean? They can't make those sales. But at the same time, they got to remember that thousands of tribes are extinct because of because of uh, the loss of this lake. You mean languages were lost, dances were lost. You know what I mean? Our way of life was lost mm -hmm. so that all of this could be here. You know what I mean? All this, all this farming out here is here because they removed our people. This was the largest freshwater lake this side of the Mississippi. It provided food, it provided clothing, it provided shelter, it provided water. Tulare Lake, the Ba'ashi, that's who we were as Tachi people. And then when that lake was there no more, we had nothing else to survive off of. Before the arrival of white settlers, tens of thousands of indigenous people lived and thrived on the valley floor and in the foothills, including the Yokut tribes who made their homes along the lake shore and the rivers. Like many tribes, the Yokuts Indians of the Great Central Valley used tulis to make their houses. Building a house was a family project, and even the children helped by carrying the tulis to the village. The lake was a life form. You know, this lake, you know, it talked to us, and we talked back to it. We understood what, what it wanted, and, and, and it understood what we wanted. And when the land would flood, that's when we'd head to the hills and live out the remaining of the year, and then come back when the water receded. In the 1800s, the tribes that had depended on Tulare Lake were decimated by disease and state-sponsored violence. And as more water was diverted for farming, they were driven off their land. The surviving Yokuts were moved onto reservations, and a few decades later, during a drought, the Tulare Lake dried up completely. Although the lake continued to return in wetter years, it was systematically drained in the 20th century by a handful of farmers. They took our abundance of our food away and our water life. This, we, we picked and peeled, you know, they'd pick it like this. And when you're peeling it, they never used tools. They would do a, with their mouth. Their teeth and there. some of the people would lose their tooth. They just be plentiful of uh, fish. Fish, we, I can remember we used to go in there catch good-sized bass. Farmers, first thing they put up is no trespassing, yeah, you know. Fences. A lot of places we used to go hunting, hey, we couldn't go. If you go on Google Map, you'll see the pathway of the slough that used to take to the Tulare Lake. The water is, it, it lays stagnant for much of the time, so. And so it's always been like that since we were growing up. Yeah. They took that, they took that away a, a long time ago. Agriculture, yeah. Agriculture. It was a big mistake for them to remove that lake from this land because this land needs that lake. The plants, the animals, we all need that water. But uh, she is not just important to native people, it's important to everybody oh. in the Central Valley. We all know that Creator came and blessed us again with the water. We see that as a good thing, but there's still something missing. Of course us. And then all the resources that used to used to be around this lake, the tulies, the sage, the seeds to repopulate. So that's what we want to offer up today. This is a really a blessing to be able to come back and actually, um, you know, sing to while it's right behind us.
Uh, we just we just want to see balance when it comes to to this area and, and the environment. The farmers have, you know, they had a good run. They provided for the world, they said. You know, so now let the lake provide for us.